Hello. So today we'll be seeing how to install BizTalk Server 2020 on local desktop. So to begin with, you need to have pre-installed Visual Studio and SQL Server. So I'll be providing a download link and pre-request what all the things are needed. So I already have installed my SQL Server and Visual Studio 2020. So to begin you need to download this iso file once you double click on that you need to open this bistock server right click on setup run as administrator click on yes and click on this install bistock server 2020 you need to provide your name and organization click on yes i accept next next So here you need to check all this additional software so basically we'll be using uh, single sign-on and BAM in later stages as you see this business activity monitoring is unchecked or it's disabled so no need to worry about we'll be doing this in later stage but for minimalistics we do need this additional software and development toolkits along with this uh, Best of EDI AS2 that we are going to use in later stage. So just check everything and click on next. And if you need a community updates, so uh, basically you can check this. So I'll check right as if for now, yes, I need always make the latest updates. And also uh, it says system boots may require to set auto login. Click set. So if you click on this set and here you need to provide the username or the local machine account that you want to have in. So for my case, I'll enter my credentials into it and click on OK. Even if you do not set this auto login, that's fine. Uh, I'll, show, I'll show how you can manually configure it so for now just I'll set it and if you don't want to just leave it and click on install these are the pre requirements that Bistock needs so it will be installing this all uh, components so now uh, the installation process is almost completed so we need to wait for a while unless it completes up to 100 percent i'll show you the advanced configuration setup to configure bistock server in order to do that you need to go to bistock configuration so here you need to just uh, instead you can just type bistock configuration and yes i so you need to select bistock server configuration given admin rights this is how the pages of best of configuration one way is either you could uh, do it by the basic configuration providing custom or the current user name and password other ways use a custom configuration so i'll go with the custom configuration rather than going with the basic one so i'll select a uh, custom configuration click on configure so here you need to enable or you need to configure one by one each and every step so first we'll enable enterprise sign on service for that it needs the ssodb so uh, on which server it should lie on so it will lie on my local uh, server with the name ssodb and the uh, sso service account so since we are on the local machine and only the single user uh, that is the current user which have login is the uh, admin user so i will add that itself as an account but in case if you are having a multi computer environment there would be a specific roles or there would be a specific accounts associated for different uh, for different roles and services there would be different service accounts that you will be linking 
so as of for now i'll just select my current user in which i'm logging in so one way is if you know the username you can just simply type the username itself and your valid credential password just click click on okay yes so now you need to set a backup for your sso db this is when you are trying to migrate you need to remember this secret key so for that it is been used basically so i'll just type the key which is at least 7 character long so let me just type groups the system might be non responding for a while that's fine that's um, because in background it will be creating a database and all so check stuff so you don't need to worry about so we will shall wait until the window gets pop up so here you need to enable it again you need to select which uh, database account it will be linked to so uh, by default the southern names that it uses you may even customize it next you need to enable this run time for that you need to select the account for host instance and uh, isolated host so similarly i'll enter my current admin user as the user and i'll set the password which is my current login password select okay click on yes similarly here i'll enter the same so basically there are two different accounts for isolated host and host instance accounts uh, in case if you are configuring for, for a multi computer environment or uh, for production environment which i later explain the use of these two accounts or two different host instances uh, again you need to enable if you need to enable uh, rule engine just select on yes and similarly you need to give your current user account credential okay yes so we are not configuring a bam and we are not continue configuring edi for now but we'll enable this rest api and we'll select an account for it so i'll similarly go with the same user account click okay yes okay yes and bam tms so for now we haven't configured for bam or edi as2 so that's fine we'll apply the configuration click on just next so It, it it will pop up as green check if it is uh, configured properly. In case if there are any kind of an error, it will mark it as cross. Or if it is a warning, it will show that the warning symbol. So 
so if there are any kind of errors or warnings don't worry we can uh, see in logs and can rectify them so just let me know in comments if you face any errors or kind of uh, warnings will fix that This might take a meanwhile, so you just need to step back and watch if something is getting unconfigured or pro having an error in it. So we have successfully configured our server, we just click on finish and work done. So yes, except the spam and EDA, we have completely configured this desktop server. I will show in later videos how you can configure it with BAM and EDA once in a session we, work, we start working with BAM and EDA. So for now, well and good. Thank you. Bye.